This is the newly constructed and refurbished Opeta Health Center 3. Seated on close to two acres of land, Opeta Health Center is boasting of six new structures plus a modern child-friendly play area built in just 12 months. Thanks to funds from Ridley Bell, an Australian large-scale blueberry farmer working in partnership with Wild Vision Uganda. We, we didn't want to tell them what we wanted. We wanted them to tell us what was something of need. And they said to us that this area here around Opeta had a lot of people and very, uh, very light for, um, for good medical facilities. So we said, OK, let's put in some money and let's build a medical centre at Opeta. So that's why we're here. a chance to cut and enter in, then see how modern it is. Hey! Previously, this health center was at the level of health center 2, but with funds from Mountain Blue Farms in Australia, today it has been elevated to level 3 category. What began as a discussion between the hospital midwife, Connie Appeal, and Ridley Bell in 2013 about the challenges the hospital was experiencing has today turned into a fully furnished health center. Previously, the health center could not admit patients, could not conduct laboratory tests, could not admit children, couldn't carry out maternity operations, had no safe and clean water, could not provide antiretroviral therapy, could not accommodate medical staff, had no running water, and had no electricity. But now, all this has been provided for. In addition to this, the hospital also now has a fully equipped child-friendly space for children to play, it can house medical staff, and it also has fully installed solar electricity to run the equipment. This is the children's ward. So, Mr. Ridley, this is children's ward. Where's madam? Where's the wife to see the picture? Yeah. 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 Just 12 months ago when we were here, it seemed a very dry place with some inspiring people with no resources. Today, 12 months later, still a dry place, but there is water and solar panels and maternity wings. And what is wonderful, a partnership 
between government, between an Australian family business, between World Vision and between the community. This is what hope is all about. I am very, very grateful to World Vision, Ridley and the family for seeing such a big difference. Connie Apio has been midwife at Opeta Health Center for close to seven years now. She tells of how the hospital was in the first days. So that time we didn't have any maternity, much as I was posted as a midwife. I started creating an activity for myself. So I started encouraging the mothers to divert them from going to a book health center for. I told them much as we don't have the facility, the health worker has been sent here. So I started telling them to come and they would come and I started palpating them on benches which I used as a bed. That time, it took me for four years on benches and they were happy. I started having like two, three mothers a day, but eventually the number increased to about 10 to 15 a day. When Ridley met Connie in 2013, she was pregnant and staying at the health center together with her husband. Connie says because of the transformation Ridley brought to the health center, she named her firstborn son after him. And the opportune time for Ridley to meet his namesake came at the opening of the health center. We, we are committed to this area, the Iboka area. Uh, we love this area, we love the people, and we will be back. And uh, our family is committed to, uh, to going beyond doing just this. We see lots of opportunities here for us to work with wonderful partners, both with World Vision, who have been wonderful partners to work with, honourable people, people we trust, and to work with the local community. And uh, so many of you last year when we were here said, yes, we will be partners. We will put in our share. We will do our share of the work, and we appreciate that. I'm here. May I take this honour to give the gift to our donor, who have successfully done this. On behalf of the community and on my behalf, I want to thank you very much. I request you to take this gift of the community of Ubeta. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We look forward to seeing you all again sometime. We love you all. Part of the funds provided by Ridley Bell is to be channeled towards the recruitment and enumeration of 17 new medical staff at the health center for two years, after which government will take over the responsibility. One vision is it going to recruit staff paid by them, one vision, not by Uganda government. So they wanted some uh, clearance and some guidelines. Also, the prime minister told them this one is going to help Uganda government. How do we delay? I think the same day they told the cow, Go and write, bring, I'll reply, and he got all the things. That's why you can hear the uh, cow is saying they have advertised for the jobs being paid by one visa, not by Uganda government. So today, as uh, in my own capacity as the national director for World Vision in Uganda, I want to hand over uh, this certificate as an emblem that we are handing over this facility uh, to you. Opeta Health Center 3 is located in Opeta Parish, a Boke sub-county, Kole District. It is situated 22 kilometers from Kole District headquarters in the north of Uganda. It serves a catchment center of two parishes with a population of 22,230 instead of the standard 5,000 people per health center three.